In chemistry and physics, the iron group refers to elements that are in some way related to iron. These elements are relatively abundant both on Earth and elsewhere in the universe. The term is ambiguous in different contexts and almost obsolete in chemistry. Periodic table The iron group in the periodic table referred to the elements iron, cobalt and nickel, that is the first row of group 8 or VIIIB under the old numbering system. In modern numbering, the iron group appears as three columns numbered group 8, 9 and 10. These metals, and the platinum group immediately below them, were set aside from the other elements as they show obvious similarities among themselves in their chemistry, but are not obviously related to any of the other groups. The similarities in chemistry along what is now known as the first row of the transition metals were noted by Adolf Strecker in 1859. Newlands' octaves' 1865 were harshly criticized for separating iron from cobalt and nickel. Mendeleev stressed that groups of «chemically analogous elements» could have similar atomic weights as well as atomic weights which increase by equal increments, both in his original 1869 paper and his 1889 Faraday lecture. Analytical chemistry In the traditional methods of qualitative inorganic analysis, the iron group consists of those cations which have soluble chlorides, and are not precipitated as sulfides by hydrogen sulfide in acidic conditions are precipitated as hydroxides at around pH 10 or less in the presence of ammonia the main cations in the iron group are iron itself Fe2+ and Fe3+ aluminum Al3+ and chromium Cr3+ if manganese is present in the sample a small amount of hydrated manganese dioxide is often precipitated with the iron group hydroxides Less common cations which are precipitated with the iron group include beryllium, titanium, zirconium, vanadium, uranium, thorium and cerium. Astrophysics The iron group in astrophysics is the group of elements from chromium to nickel which are substantially more abundant in the universe than those that come after them, or immediately before them, in order of atomic number. The study of the abundances of iron group elements relative to other elements in stars and supernovae allows the refinement of models of stellar evolution. The explanation for this relative abundance can be found in the process of nucleosynthesis in certain stars, specifically those of about 8 to 11 solar masses. At the end of their lives, once other fuels have been exhausted, such stars can under a brief phase of silicon burning this involves the sequential addition of helium nuclei 42 He and alpha process to the heavier elements present in the star, starting from 2814 C. All of these nuclear reactions are exothermic, that is, they release energy. The energy that is released partially offsets the gravitational contraction of the star. However, the series ends at 5628 Ni, as the next reaction in the series is endothermic. With no further source of energy to support itself, the core of the star collapses on itself while the outer regions are blown off in a type II supernova. Nickel 56 is unstable with respect to beta decay, and the final stable product of silicon burning is 5626 Fe. Nuclide stability It is often incorrectly assumed that iron 56 is the most stable of all the nuclides. This is not quite true. 6228 Ni and 5826 Fe have slightly higher binding energies per nucleon, that is, they are slightly more stable as nuclides, as can be seen from the table on the right. However, there are no rapid nucleosynthetic routes to these nuclides. There are several stable nuclides of elements from chromium to nickel around the top of the stability curve, accounting for their relative abundance in the universe. The nuclides which are not on the direct alpha process pathway are formed by the so-called S process, the capture of slow neutrons within the star. See also Singly ionized iron group elements S process Silicon burning process Abundance of the chemical elements Notes and references 
Notes References <laughs> <laughs>